Hi, I'm Jake, and on this episode of Rig Rundown, we're taking a look at Sherwood's 12-inch combination planar thicknesser. Now, if you've come here looking for a discussion about the merits between a combination machine or the individual setup, uh, that's not what we're here for today. If you want to get and join in on that discussion, click this link here and watch that video. But for the purpose of today, we're going to be talking about uh, the combination machine as a combo machine, and then I'll break it down as a jointer, and I will break it down as a thicknesser. Well, let's get stuck in. As a combination machine, it has a 2400 watt, three horsepower motor. Uh, it is 15 amps, so again, if you don't have capacity, make sure you talk to a Sparky to check to see that you do. As a jointer and thicknesser, it has a 305 millimeter max width planing capacity. And as a thicknesser itself, it has a 230 millimeter height planing capacity. It's spinning at a max of 5300 RPM and it has the option of either a straight blade cutter block or a helical spiral head. It has a built-in mobility base. Uh, so for you weekend warriors and home bodies, uh, you can easily wheel it out of the way so you can get the Datsun in the garage. <laughs> That's pretty much all the features uh, of the combination machine. So now I'll just break it down as a jointer and I'll break it down as a thicknesser. Now, as I mentioned, as a jointer, it features a 305 millimeter width planing capacity and a 1300 mil long planing bed. It also features a spring-loaded adjustable guard to make sure that your fingers are as far from the cutting edge as possible. Now as a thicknesser, again, 305 millimeter width doesn't change. The 230 millimeter height capacity remains the same. Now when you're changing from thicknesser to jointer, uh, it's not really crucial to the operation to keep the roller, um, or both rollers rather, running. Um, there is a handle at the back. Make sure you stop the machine, pull the handle to stop the rollers as you won't need them when you're activating the jointer. It has a hand wound height adjustment uh, which features both digital and analog readout. As a thicknesser, it will feed in material at approximately seven lineal meters a minute, but again, it depends on the hardness and the width and thickness of the material that you are feeding into it. Now you may be wondering about transition. Um, it's a very straight, very easy process. So you wanna move the joint fence as far back as you can. Uh, there's these two levers just here on either side of the front of the unit itself. You pull them up and slide them out and then grab the very uh, appropriately placed handle and just lift up until it's just past 90 degrees. And then it also has a safety hook here. You just push that back. After that, you flip the planer cover over until you hear the safety pin click. And that's it, you're ready to go. Taking it from thicknesser back to jointer, pull the safety pin out, flip your cover over Remove the pin from the back of the jointer bed and just let the springs take the weight. Put your, insert your two safety levers, locking levers, and you're ready to go again. And that's about it for another video. Uh, if you do want to take a look at the discussion that my colleague and I had about the merits of these machines, uh, press this link right here on my shoulder right now. For more information, hit the links below. Uh, like, share and subscribe the page to help us grow. We'll see you on the next video.